friends, I have a new book for you to read. It's one of my very favorites, and it was one of my kids' very favorite books, and it's called Good Night Dragon. Dragons, more than one. Uh, it's by Judith L. Roth, and it's published by Disney. So let's see what happens to these dragons and this little boy. If I'm looking at the front of it, what could I guess this book is about? I see a dragon. I notice a little boy. Does the little boy look scared? I don't think he looks scared. It looks like he's snuggling with a dragon. So what do you think that means about the dragon? Oh, for goodness sake, hold on. Sorry, friends. Okay, what do you think that means about the dragon? That he's friendly or not friendly? I don't think that you would probably snuggle with an unfriendly dragon. And look, what else do you see here? This little dog sleeping. So I'm guessing this book is probably about a dragon and a little boy who are friends. And the dog is somebody's pet. But I can't tell from this picture if it's the pet of the little boy or the pet of the dragon. So we'll have to find out. <clears throat> All right. There are dragons in the forest. No, not dragonflies. Real dragons. Look, he's telling us like it's a secret. The reason I know is this. I slept under the great chestnut tree deep in the woods and dreamed of dragon things. Who's peeking at him while he's sleeping? Look. I am called to tame dragons. My heart tells me so. I gather my tools. I pack up my traps, I fine tune my tricks for dragon training. What kind of things is he bringing for his dragon training? What do we see here? I see cups. This looks like milk. This has chocolate on it. And there's a cauldron and some blankets. I don't know what this is, maybe a horn? What do you think he's gonna use those things for? Hmm, I've never seen someone bring chocolate and milk and cups if they were going off to find dragons. Into the forest, into the trees with my horse and my wagon, I am ready. What is he really riding? Is that a horse? That's his dog just pretending to be a horse. I love it. He has a big imagination. And I notice also on this page, look at all these little other creatures there. I see them, a frog, a rabbit, a duck. I don't know what that is. Maybe a fox or, I don't know. Fox don't have teeth like that. So I'm not sure what that is. But look at their faces. If I'm looking at those other animal faces, they look a little bit worried to me or a little bit afraid. See how they're hiding? So I'm wondering if those animals are afraid of the dragons. He doesn't look afraid to me. He looks, I would say determined. That's a big word. It means that you're really set on doing something like you know you want to do it you're determined you're gonna do it whether it's hard or not so he's ready a roar spooks my horse <gasps> now the dog is scared hot gusts from above ruffle my hair my heart pounds think about when you get scared or nervous or worried and your heart might beat a little bit faster a smell like burnt toast seeps through the trees. But he's not backing away, is he? He's very brave. <clears throat> I shake as I climb, but I have a plan. This is what I know. 
everyone needs a cuddle. Maybe dragons more than most. With a voice strong as hawk song, I call them to me. Come, you heartbreakers, come, you brokenhearted. Come, put out your fire with sweet chocolate milk. They drop from the sky like huge grouchy bats, blowing fast flames that crisp the tree edges. But I wrap them in blankets, soft as morning mist, soft as summer flowers, soft as feathered nests. Slower now, they stomp through the meadow like hot, cranky rhinos, flattening grasses, scaring all things small. Ooh, look at all the little small things. They're running away, because look how big they are, and they have a grumpy face. But I settle them in clover, gentle as springtime, gentle as moonlight, gentle as baby's breath. What's he doing here? His dog is bringing sticks. What could he be building right here? It looks like maybe he's building a fire. Hmm, let's see. Now, dragons, a sleepy time treat. Drop in the chocolate, add some milk, and a flame, look where he gets the flame from, the dragon is helping. Stir them up together. Hot chocolate is born. They need hot chocolate. And look, they're sharing it with everybody. So all the dragons have some, and the little boy and the dog, the frog and the duck and the rabbit. And I see some more friends coming to get hot chocolate. Look what it is. Turtle and turtle babies. And this looks like a hedgehog and a bat. They're all coming to drink hot chocolate together. Now look at them. Look at their faces. How do they look now, the dragons? Do they look scary or grumpy anymore? I don't think they do. They look calm. I watch the dragons nodding in nap time, soothed in their slumber, tame for a time. Look at the sky, sleeping. <gasps> Who snuggled up with this dragon? It's the little frog, the little duck is snuggled. And look, he's rubbing his belly to help him fall asleep. Maybe all a dragon needs is a cuddle. Maybe all a dragon needs is one sweet dream. Good night, dragons. And look, I'm noticing that this picture is similar to the one on the front, but it's not exactly the same. Can you see what the difference is? Look at that one. I'm gonna show you this one. Similar. I notice a couple differences. Can you see what they are? Okay, in this one, look at the little boy's eyes. Now look at the little boy's eyes. What's the difference? And hmm, what else is different? I noticed something with the dog. Look at the dog here. Look at the dog there, what's different? <laughs> here he's on the ground. Here he is snuggled up together. I like this book because <clears throat> just like on the back it says, everyone needs a cuddle, maybe dragons more than most. And it just makes me think about 
if I'm grumpy, <clears throat> if I'm having a bad day, if something's happened that's made me upset, um, if I'm just feeling some angry feelings and I feel like kind of like a dragon, like I want to blow fire and maybe I'm just super grumpy, that people might just be needing a hug. I might just need a hug. Or if you see someone who seems angry or upset, probably they might be misunderstood. Maybe they just need a hug. So when we feel angry like this or grumpy, we can ask for a hug and maybe it'll make us feel better. So right now I'm gonna send you a hug. And I know you're not gonna be able to feel it, but I want you to use your imagination like the little boy did and like the pig did in the stick book and the rabbit did in the box book. We're gonna use our imagination and you're gonna imagine my arms going around you and squeezing you so tight, and giving you a nice big hug. Cause I miss giving you guys hugs. So just imagine it, feel it, uh, squeeze. All right, friends, have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow.